everybody, I'm Alex, and welcome to Storytime. I have so many great stories for you today, and this time they're all about supervillains and robots, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Before we get into it though, I want to do a couple of things. For starters, I want to introduce you to my buddy Buster, who's here, like usual, to keep me company. Also, I want to let you know that if you like story times, we have so many great story times on ADL TV. You should check them out. Also, if you're looking for something to do, we have all kinds of great kids craft projects on ADL TV, so take a look at those as well. Also, if you like kids programming, we have the Saturday show, which is always on a theme and always excellent. Okay, I think we've covered our bases, and I think it's time to do a hello song. Because you can't have a good story time without a good hello song, isn't that right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. I'd like to say hello. So there are so many different languages in the world, and so many different ways to say hello. For example, in Spanish, you would say hola. Let's try that one next. Oh, hola, friends. say hello today. You know, in Japan you would say konnichiwa. Let's try that one next. Konnichiwa friends. Konnichiwa friends. Konnichiwa friends. I'd like to say konnichiwa. How else could we say hello? You know, I hear in India, they say namaste. Let's try that one too. Namaste, friends. Namaste, friends. Namaste, friends. I'd like to say namaste. Okay, back to hello. Hello, friends. Hello. Say hello. What fun. Okay, now it's time for a finger exercise and a rhyme. I brought my fingers with me today, how about you? Oh, you did. That's good. Okay, so feel free to join along if you'd like. I'm going to use my index fingers like these, like just like this. And a one, two, three. Two little blackbirds sitting on a tree. One named Stan, and the other named Lee. Fly away, Stan. Fly away, Lee. Come back, Stan. Come back, Lee. Two little blackbirds sitting on the ice. One was mean, and the other was nice. Fly away, mean. Fly away, nice. Come back, mean. Come back, nice. Okay, one more time. Two little blackbirds sitting on a car. One was near, and the other was far. Fly away, near. Fly away, far. Come back, near. Come back, far. Okay. Now it's time for a story. Our next story is called Boy Plus Bot, and it's based off of this amazing picture book. Once upon a time, a boy was playing in the park when he met a robot who had wandered off from his home. Who are you, said the boy. I am a robot, said the robot. Would you like to play, said the boy. The robot said yes. So play they did. They bounced the boy's ball back and forth and back and forth and back and forth again. But the boy threw the ball one last time and bonk, 
accidentally hit the robot's power switch. And the robot powered down. Oh no, said the boy. I think the robot's broken. I should try to fix him. Which is what he did. He put the robot in his wagon and he brought the robot home. Once he was home, the little boy did everything he could think of to help fix his robot friend. He fed the robot applesauce, which was the boy's favorite food. But really, all the boy managed to do was to get applesauce all over the poor robot's face. Well, that did not work. So the boy did the next thing he could think of, which was to read the robot his favorite story from his favorite book. But still, nothing. The robot was definitely off. So the little boy said, well, it's getting late. I should go to bed. So the little boy went up to his bedroom. He put the robot up against the wall in the corner, and he said, I'm sorry, robot. I'm sorry that I could not fix you tonight, but I will try again tomorrow. And with that, little boy pulled up his covers, and he went to sleep. Well, after a little while, the boy's mother decided to check in on him. She opened the door, and she peeked in. She did not notice that the robot was on the other side of the door. She picked in and she said, oh, he's asleep. That's so nice. And she closed the door behind her. Well, little did she know that there was a robot on the other side. And little did she know that when she had opened the door, she had accidentally hit the robot's power switch again. So the robot powered back up. <laughs> Well, the little boy, the, the robot looked over and he saw that the little boy was sleeping. But being a robot, he did not really understand what that is. He said, oh no, the boy is broken. I should try to fix him. Which is what he did. He took the little boy down to the garage, which is where you go to fix things. Down in the garage, the robot did everything he could think of that you could you ever do to fix a, a robot. He decided that maybe the little boy needed oil, but really all that did was make a mess. Well, when that clearly hadn't worked, he moved on to the next thing. He did the only other thing he could think of, and he read from an instruction manual, thinking the boy would like this to know about things. Oh, he said. This instruction manual is for a truck. How fascinating. The boy will surely love this. But the boy stayed asleep. Well, after a little while, who should show up? None other than the inventor who had built the robot. The inventor said, oh, robot, there you are. I have been looking all over. I am worried sick about you. And then the inventor looked down and he saw the little boy sleeping and he said, Oh, you silly robot. You can't use oil to fix a boy. That doesn't work. You just made a mess. And don't read an instruction manual to a little boy. That will just make him bored. Well, hearing the inventor's voice was enough to wake the little boy up. The little boy got up. He stretched. He looked over and he saw that the bot was working again. And he was so happy. He said, Robot, you're fixed. And the robot saw the little boy up and moving, and he was so relieved. He said, Little boy, you're cured. Well, as happy as they were, it was way past everyone's bedtime. The inventor said, Robot, you have been very naughty today, and it is way past the time where you should be powered down and charging back up for your next day. So, little boy had to say goodbye to the robot. L little boy said, goodbye, robot. Can we be friends? Well, this made the robot very happy. The robot said, yes, yes, we can be the best of friends. And they were.
They played the next day, and the day after that, and the day after that, and forever after. The end. Next up, we've got Why, the story of a supervillain with a plan and a girl who has a lot of questions. At the mall. Go ahead and run, puny fools. No one can withstand the power of Dr. X-Ray. Why? Because of my X-Ray Blaster. And because my battle suit is indestructible. Why? It's made of mysterious meteor metal. Why? Because a meteor landed on my carport last year. Why? I believe it chose me chose to bestow on me unimaginable power. Why? Because it is my destiny to rule the world. Why? Because, because the world has been very unfair to me. Why? I want things, but I don't always get them. Why? I don't know. My dad says I should try harder, but I did try. I put my heart and soul into that yarn store. It just didn't work out. Why? I guess people don't knit as much as they used to. Why? Exactly. Why? Why? Knitting is amazing. And soon they'll all see just how amazing it is. Why? Because if they don't, I'll zap them with my x-ray. Why? Because, because none of them understand me. Even my dad doesn't understand me. He wants me to be a doctor. A real one. Why? Because he was a doctor. Why? Because his dad was a doctor. And his dad's dad was a doctor. That's how we do it in my family. Why? Because we all just did what we were told. So now it's my turn to tell people what to do. Why? Because I'm going to take over the world. Why? Because I deserve it. Why? Well, all right, maybe I don't deserve it. But I want it. Why? Because I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Why? Because then maybe my daddy will be proud of me. I'm the bad guy, aren't I? I thought I was the hero. Why? Because everyone thinks he's the hero. Why? Because, because everyone's battling something. Everyone wants to win. And that's what hero stories are all about, right? Winning. You gotta have winners and losers. Why? Good point. Boy, look at me. I don't even rule myself. Thanks, kid. You've given me a lot to think about. I could take over the world. But why? There you are. Why must you always be wandering off like that? Oh, because. Oh, that's all you ever say. The and. All right, it's time for another song, and this time we're gonna do Zoom Zoom Zoom. So, feel free to sing along if you'd like. One, two, three. Zoom Zoom Zoom, we're going to the moon. 
Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try it again. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, the last off. Oh my goodness. Okay, one last time. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Oh my goodness. Okay, now it's time for a story. This next story is called Color Robots, and it goes a little bit like this. Color robots, color robots, we are color robots. Do you know your colors? We think that you do. And we have a game just for you. Color robots, color robots, we are color robots. Now I'm thinking of the color of grass and trees. I'm thinking of the color of broccoli and beans. Do you know what color I'm thinking of? I bet you do. You got it. I'm thinking of the color green. Color robots, color robots. We are color robots. Now I'm thinking of the color of some people's eyes. I'm thinking of the color of the ocean and the sky. Can you guess what color I'm thinking of? I bet you can. That's right. I'm thinking of the color blue. Color robots, color robots, we are color robots. Now I'm thinking of the color of a monarch butterfly. I'm thinking of the color of a nice spicy pumpkin pie. Do you know what color I'm thinking of? I bet you do. That's right. I'm thinking of the color orange. Color robots, color robots, we are color robots. Now I'm thinking of the color of a cow or a turkey. I'm thinking of the color of chocolate or beef jerky. Can you guess what color I'm thinking of? I bet you can. That's right. I'm thinking of the color brown. Color robots, color robots, we are color robots. Now I'm thinking of the color of roses and cherries. I'm thinking of the color of stop signs and strawberries. Do you know the color? I bet you do. That's right. I'm thinking of the color red. Color robots, color robots, we are color robots. Now I'm thinking of the color of grapes that are good for my tummy. I'm thinking of the color of plums, which are so yummy. Do you know what color I'm thinking of? I bet that you do. That's right. I'm thinking of the color purple. Color robots, color robots, we are color robots. Next, I'm thinking of the color of the school bus that I ride. I'm thinking of the color of lemons and sunshine. Do you know the color? I bet you do. That's right. I'm thinking of the color yellow. Color robots, color robots, we are color robots. Now I'm thinking of the color of a fancy top hat. I'm thinking of the color of a spider or a bat. Can you guess the color? I bet you can. That's right. I'm thinking of the color black. Well done. You got them all. The end. All right, you kids, it's time to do a song. And this time, what should we do? What should we do? I know, let's do the pirate song, because it's the best. Okay. One, two, three.
When I was one, I sucked my thumb on the day I went to sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was two, I tied my shoe on the day I went to sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way way forwards backwards over the deep blue sea when i was three i tapped my knee on the day i went to sea i climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me oh you'll go this way that way forwards backwards over the deep blue sea when i was four i shut the door on the day i went to sea i climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me oh you'll go this way that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was five, I danced and jived on the day I went to sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. Next up, we have Oh No! Or How My Science Project Destroyed the World which is the story of a little girl whose dabbling in super science has some unexpected results. Oh no. Oh man. I knew it. I never should have built a robot for the science fair. Everything was going so well. Until the rampage started, that is. I probably shouldn't have given it a super claw, or a laser eye, or the power to control dogs' minds. <laughs> <laughs> that dog has a tinfoil hat. Looks like I'm gonna have to fix this. Hey, robot! Knock it off already! <clears throat> I should have given it ears. Oh, look. Her sign says, cut it out, buster. I should have taught it how to read. Take that! <laughs> and the robot's foot says, if lost, please call. And then there's a phone number. I should have programmed it to feel pain. I have an idea. Oh look, what is she going to do with that toad? Toad, take your position. Toad, turn around. Toad, attack. Goodbye, robot. Well, that worked out nicely. Oh no. Oh man. I knew it. The end. Next up, I have a rhyme for you. And for this rhyme, I'm going to be snapping my fingers and clapping my hands which, with each verse. Now, if you know how to snap your fingers, I think you should go ahead and snap along with me, like this. If you don't know how to snap your fingers yet, I think you should still try if you want to, because some things just take a lot of practice. So you put your fingers together, and you do your best to make them click. And after a while, you'll figure it out. Now, here we go. One elephant in the bathtub going for a swim. Come on in. 
two elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Come on in. Three elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Come on in. Four elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Come on in. Five elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Uh-oh. Splash. They all fell in. All right, you kids, it's almost that time. It's almost time to say goodbye. But before we go, we have time to do one last song. And like usual, we're gonna do Knees Up Mother Brown. And also like usual, we have the invisible, the inconvincible, the downright inimical Mother Brown to help us sing. Or, at very least, she can dance while we sing. Isn't that right, Ma Brown? Yeah, that's right. Okay, and a one, two, three. Oh, there was a girl from Paris, France, who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was knees up Mother Brown. Oh, knees up Mother Brown. Knees up Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up Mother Brown. Oh, we had some stories about bots today, and about supervillains, hip hip hooray. The only thing that we could do was knees up Mother Brown, oh, knees up Mother Brown, knees up Mother Brown, knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up, knees up Mother Brown. Oh, there was a teeny tiny man, or in this case, a lady, who liked to do handstands. You ready, Ma Brown? All right, sounds like it. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, what bad luck. We barely made it to five. There's always next time, though. The only thing that he could do was knees up Mother Brown. Oh, knees up Mother Brown. Knees up Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up Mother Brown. One last time. Oh, there was a girl from Paris, France, who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was knees up Mother Brown. Oh, knees up Mother Brown. Knees up Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up Mother Brown. We'll see you next time.